back guys today we're going to talk about the dangers of online dating now lawrence midfields and so was miki ort both had a bright future ahead of them eventually lost everything through an online dating app lauren usually used bumble and miki ort usually used tinder none of these young ladies knew what they had come in as their online date was and whom they think at first were i'll first dive into lauren's case which is unsolved unfortunately an investigation was opened into the death of lauren smith which her body was discovered hours after a bumble date Lauren Smith Fields was killed in Connecticut, United States, a lethal cocktail of drugs after meeting a man on a dating app in December. The office chief medical examiner recently ruled her death was an accident by acute intoxication of fentanyl, promethacin, hydroxin, and alcohol caused the young lady to lose her life but weeks after she was found dead in her apartment police confirmed she had been on a date with matthew lafontaine a 37 year old designer engineer it has now been revealed a day after mrs smith fields died her family came to her home to find a note on her door when i got there there was a note on her door saying if you're looking for lauren call this number mrs simitfield's mother chantel fields told b sorry cbs news her father paid a second autopsy as the family claim they are not getting answers they actually need without doubt we know that my daughter was not a drug user and i had a second autopsy myself paid out my pocket felt so uncomfortable with the way it was handled everett her father stated and told news 12 Attorney Darnell Crossland, who is working for the family, accused the police over covering up evidence. In a letter, he said they failed to properly investigate the debt. The police department has been racially insensitive to this family and has treated this family with no respect and has violated their rights, he wrote. They failed to investigate this matter and they refused to view the last person with Lauren Smith Fields before she died as a person of interest. This behavior is unacceptable. In a statement, the city of Bridgeport announced that a review of the case is underway. On Matthew's side of story, Lauren and he were taking shots of tequila when she became ill and went to the bathroom to vomit. The man told the police according to the report. After her return, they continued drinking tequila with mixers, played games, ate food, and started watching a movie. When Smith Fields fell asleep on the couch, where he carried her to bed to sleep, and fell asleep next to her. When he woke up, he stated, a couple hours later, he saw her lying on her right side with blood coming out of her nostrils onto the bed, prompting him to call the police. Medics who arrived on the scene announced her dead. Officers collected several items as evidence and didn't notify the family of her death. Now guys, please tell me what you think. Do you think Lauren was a drug addict and just didn't care and did this to herself? Or do you think her bumblebee Matthew is guilty behind all this? For now, all I can say he could be a suspect based on what he did. And this is my opinion, guys. He saw Lauren vomiting from taking shots. He could actually brought her to the doctor and also stopped her from taking more tequila and mixers. Mickey Oart, on the other hand, we can say died due to jealousy of her Tinder date. Mickey Oart, a 21-year-old university student at NHL's Tendon of Applied Sciences, was killed over the weekend at her hometown, Lee Warden, about 90 minutes outside Amsterdam. He put a tracker 
on her bike because in Netherlands you bike everywhere, Danik Mieke's sister said. Right now, we're just trying to process this whole situation and really say our goodbyes and make the necessary arrangements that we'll have to do. She had recently broke up with her boyfriend, Michael van der Waal, before briefly dating Thomas, the Daily Mail reported. But when she reconnected with her ex, Thomas allegedly became violent, harassed her on WhatsApp and stalked her and planted a tracking device on her bike she didn't want to continue dating him because he couldn't stomach that he stalked her for a while and out of jealousy he stabbed her fatally in her apartment he said the suspect a resident of leek fled by a car but was arrested near Leer, germany on sunday after being turned in by his parents according to the daily mail as soon as the suspect in the netherlands leaves he will be taken into custody and he will be interrogated netherland police reported police said all right so for these two reports of these young ladies who died after dating online we can all come to a conclusion that online dating is dangerous as there is an exposure to people with wrong intentions they are sexual predators serial killers disguising to be good persons fraud and scams as well happens to persons who do online dating risks of sexual assault they trick people also into sharing sexual imagery a deceased by the name of amanda todd have been a victim of this you can review link is in my description now if you are that online type of person like dating online and if it comes to the case that you would like to meet up that person that you met online what I'll advise you to do is always meet in a public place, tell someone you know where you're going, never leave your drink or food unattended because it can get spiked, ask an adult to accompany you, never give your personal details like home address school name to that person always share your location with a loved one in case of anything so guys i hope that you learned something from me so basically my opinion on online dating i will would not 